Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everyone. How are you doing today? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Sorry about that. So, let me get this going. <clears throat> hey, Jackie. Come on, save and activate. Okay. How's it going? Hey, Kathy. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Peggy. How are you guys? So, um, today I thought we'd pop on here and make this um, sign that I got from the Crazy Chicken Lady Custom Wreaths and Signs, Signs and Wreaths, something like that. Um, I have her link in the um, com or not in the comments, in the um, description up there and I had asked you guys hey Jody hey Linda hey Judy Muriel PK um, I asked you guys the other day what you wanted me to use so the vote was for the boas and I think I showed you guys how to do this when I made a Grinch face too so hey June hey Francis so um, that's what we're going to make so I will um, put her nope wrong thing Put her link here. Let me see. There we go. Down there. So you guys can, if you are interested in the sign, that's where you would get the sign. And also, if um, you guys are interested in getting live alerts, tape, um, type live in the comments. And also, I'm doing a Halloween wreath giveaway. So if you type wreath, or giveaway or free wreath in the comments you will um thanks donna hey Nell. um you'll get information on how to enter that so and the wreath that i'm giving away is the one behind me the poison pumpkin it's a halloween wreath so for, for this when i use hey mary jane when i use the boas i put the face on last because otherwise it's really kind of hard to um wrap it around so what I did was I just take took the sign and put it here, and then I measured where I wanted the holes to go, and then I just drilled the holes in here. Yes, free wreath. So hopefully you'll get something back. Let me know if you don't get that message. I hope I did it right. I never know. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a zip tie, and they come with these right around it. So I'm just going to zip tie that to my frame. Hey, Pat. Hey, Carol. Yes, please share if you guys would. I appreciate it. And Jackie is the one. Hey, Barbara. Thank you for blessing my page. Who made the um, Santa faces and the other signs I have. So hopefully, are you guys getting um, the message? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Now I thought I did it. Okay, so type that in again and see if it works. Hopefully it'll work. Hopefully I did it right. All right, so all I did was I zip tied that there, and then I'm just going to start wrapping it around the frame. Did it work? No, it didn't work. Ugh. Okay, let's try this again. It said it would. All right, let me see. Oh, okay, let me try that again. All right, sorry. Technical difficulties. Please specify opt-in keywords. Oh, I thought I did it. Okay. All right, so just type in free if you want information. So hopefully that'll work. Try it again. Try it again, try it again. Hopefully it'll work. Type in free. All right, so this is just a boa, a feather boa. Um, and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap it around the frame, okay? And it's probably going to take about one. Is it working? 
Ugh. Is it working at all, guys? Let me know if it's working. Sorry. I'm new to, um, I mean, I know the basics of mini chat, but um, I don't know. When it comes to this, hopefully it'll work. The, the Santa face came from the Crazy Chicken Lady custom signs and wreaths. And I have her um, page on, in the comments there. Oh, you got it. Oh, yay. Okay. So then all I'm going to do is I'm going to attach another one. And I'm going to use a zip tie to attach them together. And I'm going to put it here. Oh, good, it worked. Okay, yeah, so the um, giveaway works. Oh, and I just cut that off. Did I? No. Oh. Um, the giveaway is that if you um, like and follow my Facebook page, and then you get um, two entries, and Charlotte, try going out and coming. You, I see and hear you. Oh, okay, good. Um, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you get two entries. And I think every day if you go back, you get an entry. So this is the first time I'm doing it, so bear with me. <laughs> and please share it with your friends. Okay, so like I said, all I'm doing is... Oh, it is in there. You guys, I am not doing well today. All right, let me cut that one off because we don't need two in the same spot. You can tell I'm a little tired today. I'm just whew, not, I don't know. So I went to at home yesterday and um, yes, thank you for sharing. I saw some really cute stuff. Got a couple things that was very good. I didn't buy a lot. So, um, oh, it's good. Happy Sunday to you. So, like I said, I'm just, um, you know, wrapping it around. And see how it goes. But I think it really makes it look like his beard. So we will see how it works. So I think, like I said, what's going to happen is I'm probably going to use one boa per section. Maybe more. I don't know. All right. So I'm going to zip tie these two together again. Um, the boas I got from a, um, on the website, I think it's called the Feather Place. But I think I have seen that... Um, the Dollar Tree carries them because I cup I paid a couple bucks a piece for these. Oh, you like paint? I wish I could paint. I cannot paint. Wish I could paint, but not me. Um, well, it's probably you probably don't want to put it like where it's going to get the um, you know full rain and stuff like that because they are made of feathers. So it's probably more of something that you would want to put either inside or um, like under a covered porch or something. So with the feathers, you know, you wouldn't want to really put it outside. Hey, Diana, how are you? Yeah, because I don't think you really want them to get wet. Um so, but isn't that cute? Look how cute that is. All right. So the next one here. Hey, Jeannie, how are you? I'm going to wrap it around here. I don't know. It's just a little different than using the deco mesh. Um, you know, kind of like to try different things and see how it'll work out, but I think it's going to be cute. So, <sighs> hey Rosie, how are you? So again, you're just going to keep wrapping. It's not hard to do. 
It just takes a little time. So, yep, but Jackie from, like I said, Crazy Chicken Lee. Hey, Berlene, how are you? Custom Signs and Wreaths does these. Does the sign. Okay. Some more. Oh, sure will. Oh, thank you, PK. All right, so. Probably going to need a couple more. Whoop. And feathers are flying, you guys. Hey, Carolyn. Yep, I'm having a good day. Let me see if I can show you that. Can you see that? And it's got the texture on it, which is really cool. Um, it's a little different than, um, can you guys see that? Hold it up. Can you see the texture on it? Like, I've never seen one with the texture on it like that, which is really cool. So, yeah, I think it, it pretty much would have to be for an inside wreath because you really wouldn't want the feathers, you know, to get, although they're feathers. Yes, they are, um, they are metal, or uh, wood signs. Hey, Sarah, how are you? Like I said, I'm just zip tying each of them to, sorry, stupid Surrey. Okay, there we go. I don't know why it does that sometimes. I know, isn't it cute? I think this sign's adorable. All right, I'm just keep wrapping. Hello, 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 Joanne. How are you? Hi, Annette. How's it going today? And you can kind of do it as loosely or as tight as you want it. I kind of do it somewhat tight so it doesn't, you know, go all over the place. But look how cute that is. I know, isn't this sign cute? I'll show you some more. Remind me, I'm going to need one more of these. Um, like I said, I think the Dollar Tree. Hey, Tammy, how are you? I haven't seen you in a while. Um, I think the Dollar Tree carries the Boas, I think I heard now. So I can make it for a little cheaper, but I didn't have, they, they weren't there. I think it's going to end up being one boa for each section. So it'll be, I think, six boas. Get this on there. Oh, thanks, Shirley. The boas are six foot long, I think. Let me see. Yeah, they're six foot long. Yep. Yeah, so they're six six feet each. And then, like, the first time I made one of these, I did it, I don't know, I think I did it online. Oh, good, Karen. Yeah, I thought so. Hey, Jamie, welcome. Um, yeah, I, I got the green boas, and I made the, the uh, Grinch face. Oh, the Dollar Trees aren't that long, so you'll probably need more of them. Yeah. But when I had ordered these a while ago, the Dollar Tree didn't have them in yet. So um, that's why I found them online. The Santa face I got from the Crazy Chicken Lady Custom Signs and Reese. And I have her um, post or, or her page um, pinned on the comments. These boas, I think, were like 3 or $4 a piece. But like I said, I think you can get them from the Dollar Tree now. I think the Dollar Tree has them. So and I think I'm going to need one more. Because I don't want it to be... Um... When I bought these, they came six to a pack. 
so, you know, it's a little more expensive, but um, like I said, I just thought, you know, let me try something different. You know, guys, good morning. How are you, Patricia? Hey, Maria. Um, you know, I like to just try different things. You know, just to be a little different. Try, you know, new ways to do things, new things, new looks, you know. But yeah, I did the Grinch in this a while ago. I don't remember, it's been a while since I did the Grinch. Probably at least a month since I did the Grinch. Um, with the green boas. Hey, Claudia. Hey, Brenda, how are you? Um, these boas got I, that I bought off a line from a place called... I think it was called the Feather Place. Um, so I, I ordered them off of their site. But I believe the Dollar Tree has them now. Um, so you can try there first. Yes, yes. Each time I'm adding a boa, I am zip tying it to the, the previous boa. And then I'm zip tying it to the wreath. The wreath frame. Yep. Hey, Patricia. How are you? Hey, Fern. Like I said, just something a little different. Okay. Look how cute that is, right? Let me just make sure they're spread out. Okay. So now I will attach the face because... Like I said, if you attach the face first, it's really, hey, Teresa, hard to um, attach it. So now I'm going to kind of go through and find where my center brackets were right there. And I'm going to use a zip tie again. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Natalie. And then I just drilled holes in the sign. Now you can use um, the zip ties like I'm doing with the drilled holes. I'm not going to tighten it all the way yet until I get all the other ones in and make sure I have it lined up right. The frame is a 14 inch frame from the Dollar Tree. If I can find the crossbar on that one. There it is. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, the 14 inch frame from the Dollar Tree. Like I said, I'm not going to tighten that yet. So I want to make sure. But look at that. Isn't that adorable? I think it's so cute. And again, it's just something a little different. Um, so you want to make sure that you attach it in at least, you know, four places. Like top and bottom and side to side so it doesn't slide one way or the other. Um... So I like to do, I like to do it at all the crossbars, just to kind of make sure it's secured. But four is plenty. Whew, the feathers are flying. Okay. All right. Good, so I will go ahead and attach these other ones. Like I said, I'm just going to do it at each of the crossbars um, just so I can have it secure so it doesn't move around. Thanks, Patricia. Like I said, just something different. Um, also, like I said earlier, if you guys just got here, if you want, if you don't already receive the alerts when I go live, go ahead and type live in. And I am giving away a free um, Halloween wreath here. So type in free and you can get information about that. You get um, two entries if you like and follow my pa Facebook page. And then two entries if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Nope, and I put that in wrong. Um, the sign I got from Crazy Chicken Lady 
custom wreaths and signs. And I, um, I, I uh, pinned the comment here, so you should be able to go right to her page. And I can't get this one on. We don't really need it, but all right. So then I'm going to tighten them up so it doesn't move around. Okay. I mean, I've got five attached, so it's not going anywhere. Yep, and I have her, um, let me see, I'll do it again. Okay, that's the site where I got the sign. Jackie, and she does custom signs as well. I'll show you a couple different other signs I got from her also. Okay, so. Tuck that down in there. There's the string. But isn't that cute? It's just something different other than the standard, you know, deco mesh that we always use. So I just thought, let me try something a little different. All right, then I have this little Santa hat. I think I got this, um at the Dollar Tree last year, so I just put some pipe cleaners on it, and I'm just going to pop it right on here. Find a crossbar, there we go. This is actually just a feather boa, Marilyn. That's all it is, just a feather boa, just something different. You know, rather than the typical um, deco mesh and that kind of stuff. So, okay, something like that. Isn't that cute, though? Just kind of get them all gathered around. So what do you guys think? Isn't that adorable? So have to tuck that under or cut that off. The strings. Tuck them underneath here. So they're not showing. Oh, thanks guys. Yeah, please share, share, share. But like I said, I just thought something a little different and I'm going to have to tack that down too. So what I will do so the hat doesn't flop all around is I will take and tack that in. And all I'm doing is I'm just going to take and cut a little hole there and get a pipe cleaner and run that through and then tack it to the top. Just attach it to the top of the frame so that the um, hat doesn't kind of wobble all over. Okay. okay. Isn't that cute? Um, the hat's kind of tiny. I think I got it from the Dollar Tree last year. Let me measure it. Um, the hat is just like four and a half inches wide at the bottom, and then from top to bottom, it's about nine, ten inches. Um, Anna, all I did was I just took the boas and I got, um, pipe or, um, I can't, I can't think today, guys. Um, two, I got feathers all over me. I got zip ties and I just, at the end of the boa, there is, yes, you can make anything. Absolutely. At the end of the boa, there's this little tie. So I just took each boa and zip tied it to the frame like a crossbar. And that's all I did. Yes, a snowman. Yep. I have made these with um, this boa stuff. So I just wanted to be different. I've also made it with, I made a Grinch. See this um, pom pom? It's just pom pom um, yarn. This would be adorable for this, um, this too. I made a Grinch with this. So, I don't know, just something a little different. The boas came from a place called the Feather Place online. 
but someone I know I've seen them at the Dollar Tree now. But look how cute, and it's just different. It's not the same old Santa face you see with the deco mesh and that kind of stuff. So I don't know. I just wanted to be a little different. Just a little different. I don't know. Hey, Laura Jean, how are you? So yeah, and it's easy to make. I mean, it's a it, you know because I didn't get the boas at the Dollar Tree. It did cost a little more. Um, but it's just so quick and easy and it's adorable, right? Oh, so let me show you some of the other signs that, um, I got from Jackie. I made the, um, other ornament fr Friday. I think I did it Friday. <coughs> yep. That's all I did. Yep. Anna, I just wrap it around it. Yep. So this is a little, um, Christmas ornament. This she has my last name, my last initial on here, so you can get them um, any color, any initial if you want it. Um, the one I made the other day says Noel, so um, I have that one. And then this one, look at this owl. I love owls, guys. And this one says Happy Fall, y'all, but she can make a Christmas one, too. Then she just made a little, like, you know, stocking. Um, you can put anything across here, like Merry Christmas or, you know, anything along here, kids' names, your last name. Um, and then she has this sign, which, um, oops, I love this sign. This is, just says Joy. And I know she's done this one in black and gold, too. Um, Claudia, the um, boas were six feet long. Exactly, Marilyn. Yep, you. there's so many uses for that. So I just love them. And then this one, Believe in the Magic of Christmas. So, and I think she has a couple different more um, on her site. And she does custom. I know she's working on like dog bone signs right now and a bunch of other ones. So definitely go check out her site. And then when I was at, at home yesterday... I didn't get a chance to do a live, but I got this ribbon. Isn't this cute? The little um, Santa face ribbon. And then, to make that one. Um, all you need to make the wreath really is a wreath frame, zip ties, the boas, um, the Santa face, and a hat. But I can type it up and um, you know put it on here. But that's really all you need. And I think I used one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. I used six boas. And where's my frame at? I thought I had a... Hold on. Let me grab a frame. Um, okay. So, whoops. It looks like I'm frozen there. Okay, so I use one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so I use one boa for each section, and there's six sections. Um, I did, Marilyn. In fact, I just sold it. It was on my um, Etsy page. Um, I just sold that one. I know, isn't it cute? Sure. Yep, put that here. Yep, the back just looks like this. We'll have to cut that one off. So that's really all you do. It's just zip ties and a couple of um, like that. So that's really all there is to it. And then I will just cut these off. But I just use the zip ties to attach the face. Hey, Della, how are you? Cut those off. And I did the holes on the back of the signs because I wanted to know, you know, I wanted to put them exactly where I wanted them. But you can use, um, you know, anything you want. But yeah, isn't that adorable? Yeah, but I love the texture for it. That's what's unique. She has um, texture on a couple of her signs. And that's, to me, I haven't seen any other signs that are textured like that. But yeah, so that's my little Boa Santa. Like I said, I have made these. In the Grinch. Um, I've done the Grinch that way. And then I did a pom-pom Grinch. But even this would look great in the Santa face or a snowman. This would be perfect for a snowman. But, um, yeah, so I got that. Oh, so then I got this ribbon also at At Home. Isn't that adorable? Love that. 
And I got a couple of these. And then I got this cute little just um, candy thing. But I know I'm going to have to have Jackie make me some of those. And then, oh, where are the picks I got? I got some picks yesterday. Oh, here we go. Look, aren't these cute? Look at these picks. I got it at home. Got that, and then I got this one. So I know I'm going to be doing that. Oh, and look what else I got. I got this, um, it's a metal Santa face. Um, and so I'm going to do a, um, like a centerpiece with it. So that'll be fun. I know I thought, isn't that cute too? The little Santa hat. Hey Robin, sure. All I did was I took zip ties and, um, I used... Um, I just use zip ties and attach the boas on that way. How much of the yarn did I use? I think I used at least one roll barb, if I'm remembering correctly. And I just did it the same technique. I just wrapped it. Can you show the boa you used? And do you have to fluff it? No, the boas come in a bag just like this. Oops. Um, you can buy as many as you want. You can buy one. They have them six in a bag. Um, but this is, you know, what it is. It's just a feather boa. And they just come like this. And they have a little um, string on each end that I um, attached with the zip tie to the frame. And then I just wrapped it around the frame. Yeah, this I used six boas, Laura Jean. Yeah, it used six because it was one each section. To kind, I think if you used three, well, and it depends on the length because that's only, um, that's six foot. So if you have maybe ones that are longer, I don't know, maybe it won't take as many. But I just, you know, kind of wanted it to be nice and full. Let me tuck that under. Yeah, the snowman hat. Isn't that cute? I got that at, at home, so I'm going to make a um a centerpiece with that so but i was good i didn't i didn't spend a whole ton of money you guys i was very good <laughs> oh they're very full yeah so they might they might not take as many yeah because this took six but and i don't know what the doll where did you get yours from online like i got my like i said it's called the feather place i think it was so so yeah that is it boy that was a quick life yeah see this doesn't take long the frame is a 14 inch frame from the dollar tree it just came um the box frame like this i can get it off the floor just came like this and like i said i used one bow up each section so so that's it guys so like i said don't forget um if you don't already get alerts um go ahead and um type in live and if you also want to um oh okay okay yeah i think they were more expensive Laura Jean, if i'm remembering i don't remember what they were but um and if you, I'm doing that Halloween wreath giveaway to celebrate reaching 7,000 likes on my page. So, um, hey, Benisa, how are you? The metal snowman? You mean the hat? Yeah, this just came from at home yesterday when I was there. But isn't it cute? So I thought I would make a little centerpiece with it. So, and type in free if you um, want to information if you want to enter into the um, Halloween wreath giveaway and that ends October 5th and you get um, you can enter every day to get more entries and if you like and follow my Facebook page you get two entries subscribe to my YouTube channel get two entries so and share it share it share it oh thank you Laura Jean yeah my next thing Facebook says I need 10,000 followers so hopefully 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 all right guys so that's it for me today that was a quick one so if you guys would please you know like and share my page or follow my page and um 
subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would appreciate it. But that's all. You guys have any other questions before I hop off for the day? And I will be back on tomorrow night, Monday night. My normal lives that I do every week are Monday and Thursday, um, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I usually pop on a couple other times other than that. But um, those are my standard times that, I'm, that you can count on. Pretty much going to be there um, every Monday and Thursday night. So we will see what I make tomorrow night. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Oh, don't forget to go check out um, Jackie Signs. And that's about it for me for today. Any other questions? Thank you, Laura Jean. I appreciate it. Thanks, Jamie. You too. Yeah, I don't remember. I remember seeing that. Um, hey, Kim, when Regina did that bunny a while back. But I remember thinking they were really expensive. My YouTube channel, let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, hold on, let me get there. Oh, I know where, never mind. Um, here's my YouTube channel. Yep, there's my YouTube channel. So, yep. So, the hat I got, I think I got this at the Dollar Tree last year. I'm pretty sure. But, yeah. But I love how it turned out. I think it turned out adorable. Yeah, see? I thought they were pretty expensive, Laura Jean. I think these were a couple bucks a piece. At least... Three or four dollars a piece, if I'm not mistaken. But three, but it depends how full they are too. I mean, yours might be pretty full, and three could do it. But still, fifty dollars for that—that that would be a lot. Okay, that's it. What's your? Thanks, Karen. What's your page on Facebook? It's Wreaths by Busy Bees Custom Creations, Brenda. Yeah, if you type on the, if you type in free. You should get a link that will take you right to, um, yes, I can make a candy cane wreath. Absolutely. Yeah, I did that one in July, and I haven't done any since, I don't think. It's been a crazy year. Crazy year. I know. Isn't it cute, Beverly? I really like it. I love how it turned out. All right, guys. Well, I will let you go. And um, the metal hat. Yeah, I know. Maybe I will. Well, I have to spray that um, the good stuff into it, so I don't think that will be cured enough to do tomorrow night. But maybe I'll do that one Thursday night. So, all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being with me this Sunday afternoon, and I will be back on tomorrow night. You all have a wonderful day, and don't forget to like and follow my page and share it, please. Much appreciated. Have a wonderful day. Thanks, guys. Bye.